Greetings and welcome back to Planet Crafter. In our first episode, we landed on this lush world. Well, it will be lush when we get done with it, right? And we began the process of releasing pressure, which of course is one of the terraforming things that we need to do. Now, we built two of these. I built four more because I need to get the process going. And as you can see, I also made some more wind turbines here to generate power because after all, if we have more consumption than power, then everything shuts down. Fortunately, the game does give us this screen here. As you can see, this is energy. We have production here on the right, and you can see I'm producing six kilowatts per hour, and we have consumption over here, everything that we have that is uh, consuming power. And our big thing there is the drills. Now, you can see over on the right in the middle how much is available, not very much. Fortunately, my efforts here, and you can see some things are moving along. Heat, not really, because, yeah, iridium. I need iridium to make a heater. So I'm hoping that's something we can come across fairly soon. But my efforts have gotten us to the point where we can now make a solar panel and also a T2 drill. So I'm guessing both of those would be useful. I think we should lead with the power, right? So why don't we just do that? Uh, eventually, I'm actually probably going to take these guys down almost immediately, but we'll see about that. All right, I do have materials on me. I think I can make two of these solar panels, so let's do that. All right, and then we'll make one of these here like this. Okay, so that should definitely be helping us. Let's take a quick look. Okay, 14, which is good because I do believe... Where was it here? T2 drill, yeah, that consumes five per second. So the thing about it is we can build two of them in safety. All right, I'm going to need more titanium. Uh, I did do some gathering. Also, I extended the base here a bit. And I did some organization. So I have uh, silicon over here. I have magnesium over here. I have cobalt over here. I have this. I need some of these guys, right? And I have iron. I probably should grab an extra one of those. All right, so let's see about this. All right, first off, let's look at the grid here. All right, the terraforming, if you look at the pressure, that's the one we're working on right now. We're doing 1.2 whatever that is per second. So that's the rate at which the number above is increasing. So 1.2, we're gonna see what we're gonna be doing with this. All right, I guess we can throw these over here. It doesn't really matter because, as I said, this area is temporary. And as I understand that there will come a time where I will actually be underwater. So, yeah, we're going to have to keep our eyes open for something on a little bit higher ground, right? All right, and, uh, okay, so this one here is doing uh, 1.5 as opposed to all of these guys doing 1.2. So let's make another one. Oh, I don't have any more titanium. You know what I can do? I think they have titanium. Can I have some titanium? Yes, I can have some titanium. All right, so let's do that. Uh, T2 drill. Boom. Now, if I put a third one down, I mean, it might work if I took these guys out. I mean, they are consuming power, but the thing about it is that they're not really giving much in return. So, uh, yeah, why don't we just uh, do a bit of deconstruction here? Uh, it'll give me some power back. How am I doing? I'm doing good. All right. Because those are iron and titanium. All right, let me just check for a moment how much power we have to work with here. Oh, and I now have the blueprint for the backpack, Tier 3. And I hate that so much. Okay, my number one complaint with this game is... Could we please have deconstruction to the right mouse button? Because I just destroyed my uh, screen. I can't tell you how often that happens. Uh, it doesn't even ask you. Okay, let me get out of deconstruction mode here. Okay, and... Um, all right, seven. That means I can make another one. Do I have the materials? Yes, I do. Let's get to work on that. All right, and where is uh, T2 drill? And let's put that down. Okay, and of course, um, I mean, another solar panel would probably be a good idea. Um, I don't know, can I take these down? 
You know, I'm going to leave them for now. The reason for that is because we might be on the edge in terms of power. But I mean, they're only like one iron each anyway. When I get more solar panels, we'll do that. All right, let's take a quick look and see how things are going here. Okay, pressure is now 4.5 as opposed to 1.2. So that's doing a lot better. How is this without me destroying it? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be able to put another one of those things up. In fact, I have to be very careful what I build without putting more solar panels out because that is a little bit close. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it is a little bit close. Now, in the meantime, I've made a couple of things that I unlocked, uh, one of which was the uh, exoskeleton. What that did is it gave me another row of equipment slots, as you can see. Uh, also, I made the torch probably going to be useful for when it gets dark. You know, there's going to be dark places. So having a torch isn't such a bad idea. All right. So what I would like to do is I'd like to do some exploring. I'm thinking that ridge right up there. What I would like to do is make a little oxygen hut up there. Maybe I'll like some storage so that we can uh, extend. I would like to see what's above that ridge over there. Yes, I do see that up there as somebody pointed out. Uh, I also seem to notice that that's a long way off. And uh, the rocks might make that a little bit hard to get to. So I'm thinking we try this first and see if there's something interesting. I will be keeping my eyes open for Let me get some ice because I'm going to need water. Um, keeping my eyes open for those blue chests, which does remind me of something. I did find another blue chest, didn't I? Hold on a minute. Let's empty our inventory a little bit. Uh, do I have any room in here? I can put some iron in there. Let me just, uh, I think I had ice in here. So we'll put one there and then I'll make some water because it looks like I'm getting close to needing water. All right, hopefully it will have um, uh, food because I need, to, for now I need to find my food because the food production is going to be a while off. Yeah, here's the thing. I wish they make these uh, a different color. Because you notice blue, blue, sometimes they can be hard to see. I was actually right on top of this when I discovered it. All right, but I didn't open it because I wanted to see here now. Let's open it. Oh, there's a lot in there. Do I have enough space? No, I don't. It had some water and some food in there too. All right, well, ooh, that's okay. All right, well, you know what? I guess I'm going to have to empty that another time because there is something else I wanted to do. But that was good. There was a lot of good stuff in there. They even had some extra water in there, which really isn't a problem because there's a lot of ice around. By the way, I did put um, these underneath when I did this. Uh, yes, I know they're not necessary, but I think it just looks silly to be floating in the air. Besides, I mean, they're only one um, iron each and you know, iron isn't really a problem. As soon as the meteorites come, you know, they drop a whole bunch of new stuff. So yeah, I mean, Iron isn't a problem. No, it is not. All right, so let's see here for a moment. Uh, let's drop some food and some water, some water. I do want to have one of those waters, so we'll keep that one there. Um, do I want to count on finding more food? All right, so when eventually I get the food producers, I can grow these. That'll be great. I don't know if they're one shot or they're like endless or however that works. Why don't we just keep that for now? All right. Let's do some dumping, and I need to do a little bit of math here. All right, so I don't need that. I don't need all of those. I need two titanium. I don't need any magnesium. All right, I still have some ice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's ice. I don't need all of that. Unfortunately, I have nowhere to put it. All right, I need another uh, container. Kind of like an overflow thing. I think I eventually get a locker. Okay, I need three iron. That's all I need. So I need three iron, two titanium, and I need one silicon. So I'll grab one of those. Uh, the reason is, is because I want to make a little oxygen room, like I said. So I need to make the uh, habitat, the little habitat thing. But I also need a door, too. So that's something I'm going to need. And uh, I take the extra food with me. Ice, I guess we can just probably make that water. Where is it over here? Uh, maybe that might be useful. All right. Oh, you know what we didn't look at? The backpack. Backpack would be very useful. Okay, tier three, aluminum. No, I can't do that. Just like we got in the last episode, we got the agility boots. They require aluminum and fabric, neither of which I have. 
I was able to make this, as you can see. It's just, you know, simple stuff. And I was able to make the torch. So uh, I have a light here. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. The torch is a light. Can I just have, like, deconstruction be a two? Because, I mean, yeah, I don't want to accidentally take this apart, you know? If I switch over here and accidentally click on it, it just, oh, okay, we're just going to take that apart. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of BS right there. So, I mean, right-click, that is not being used in this game right now. That can be deconstruction. But then, ask me. I noticed this game in a lot of ways is similar to Subnautica. Because, I mean, out here, oxygen, you get bigger oxygen tanks, and then you have to go back in, and then you can breathe. Uh, I do understand also they're going to add some kind of a vehicle eventually. What I would recommend would be a hoverboard. It worked really good in Astroneer. Okay, so here's what I want to do. And I do have two foods on me, right? Yes, I do. All right, I should have everything else I need. I might want to pick up some iron on the way. All right, so let's go. All right, so I want to head up there, but I'm going to keep my eyes open in the meantime. We've all, we have been this way. Okay, and a living compartment glass. Not something I need right now. Okay, and a communications antenna. Okay, that's interesting. And a transmission screen. I'm guessing that goes hand in hand. All right, here's the thing. I actually do need to start thinking about the future here. All right, so let's move. Okay, what is that, Stonehenge up there? All right. All right, it's a good marker. We can see that around, right? Is that more... Okay, I don't need titanium. Well, for this situation here, right? Oh, righty. It looks like a crash ship. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Uh, let's put down a living compartment. Okay, right there. And yeah, it's floating in midair. I'm just going to let it do that. And then we'll do that. All right. Oxygen. Okay, so now what do I have that I need here? Okay, I need to get two more iron to do that again. You know, I might as well have the space food because it's not going to fill me up anyway. It only does 40. I'll hold on to the uh, water for now. Okay, so what I need to do is I need, and if I'm going to do this again over there, then I need two more iron. So I'll keep my eye open for iron along the way. But I think we'll just head over this way. Is that iron? That looks like iron to me. And more iron would actually be useful because uh, if I am going to be looting that, which I probably am going to be doing that, I'm going to need containers, ain't I? Okay, that's titanium. I don't need that. I'm looking around for containers to see if I can see them. Like I said, the fact that everything, these guys are all blue is inconvenient in terms of spotting it. Wow, there's a lot of titanium over here. All right, I'm going to have to make a titanium run because, I mean, I was having f trouble finding it, but I'm not having any trouble here. Wow. There's no iron over here. Is this iron? There we go. Okay, that does look like a crashed ship. Did not make the best of landings there, did you? No, you didn't. All right. Okay, so uh, let's make ourselves a little oxygen location here. I guess maybe like right here would be fine. All right, and let's just here, like there, just pretend that it's not floating in midair. All right, and then let's do a door. All right, let's just step inside. Breathe. All right, I have two of these, so let's make some boxes here. Because I have a feeling we are going to be looting. At least I sure hope we are. Okay, so we have the water. I can leave a water behind for now. Right. Um, I have one with me if I need one. I'm thinking inventory space. Okay, and light. All right, let's go. All right. Hello? Anybody home? Not even sure what I'm looking for. Can I take any of these apart? Okay, I can't even tell. I think I'm on it now. What was that? D 
deconstruct. Oh, storage crate. No, actually, no. Um, ooh, ooh, what do we got here? All right, you know, let's just grab it. And there's another. Oh, there's a chip. Okay, good. And then let's deconstruct. Let's deconstruct. Okay, anything else around here? Can I have the beds? All right, I can't deconstruct. Can I deconstruct this door? No, I can't. Okay, oh, deconstruct Rex. Okay, guess what I see over here? No deconstruct. Okay, I got some fabric. And we got some more stuff. Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, not what I wanted. Very much not what I wanted. Deconstruct. All right, let's get out of here. Oxygen's getting a little low. All right. All right, we're not done yet, of course, but... Uh, all right, so uh, here, kill us for a moment. What do we get here? Okay, we can make some more of those things. 200% oxygen multiplier? Okay, those are clearly better than the ones that I have. And we got another chip, too. And fabric. Okay, so I need two aluminum and two fabric to make the agility boots so I can run faster. And could you not take that apart? Thank you. All right, let's uh, throw some of these stuff in here. All right. If what I've seen already is any indication, I'm going to be running back and forth, ain't I? All right. Uh, just throw that in there. Throw that in there. I should probably just drink some water. I'm going to hold on to it until it busts my chop because I don't know how long I'm going to be there. All right. Let's get in here again. All right. So we went this way. Okay. Deconstruct. All right. Oh, there's a box over there. Okay, we look that way, and there's a way that way, but we do see there's a box here, no deconstruct. Okay, oh, iridium! Iridium, we can make a heater. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's take this apart. So that way we know we've looked into it, right? Okay, and it looks like some wreck there. Can I take all this other stuff apart? That'd be great, just saying. All right, um, what is this? I keep seeing, like, a flash up there. Oh, this. Get rid of this. Okay, what is... Okay, that is a heater, too. So I'm going to deconstruct that. And I got a bunch of stuff. Aluminum. I got two more iridium. Oh, I'm already full. All right, you know what? Let's look in the little box. Not deconstruct. Okay, I got another chip. All right, uh, let's just open... Okay, good stuff, good stuff, iridium. All right, let's do, I also noticed there was some water in there too, so that's actually good. All right, so um, actually I could have drank the water that I have. All right. Yeah, 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 hydration. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just actually literally mentioned that. Okay, so why don't we just drink that? All right, and I'll keep that one. All right, so I'm going to need more boxes, ain't I? All right, uh, we full here. We can put that there. Okay, a lot of iridium, which is good. I need one of those for every heater so I can make a bunch of heaters. We got some more fabric, aluminum, another blueprint chip. So let's do, and another 200% oxygen multiplier. I couldn't make any more of those because I didn't have any seeds. Now I'm actually doing very well with the seeds. Oh, and I got food too. And you know what I need immediately? I need another one of these, don't I? And you know, that's a good thing. Like, I have so much loot that I need more boxes. Yeah, that's actually a really good thing. All right, we're done here. I got stuff. Okay, so let's get more stuff. And it's daytime again. Very quick days on this planet. Very quick days. All right, let's just make sure that I don't miss anything. All right, we were in there. That was the first place we were. We go around here, and we took care of the chest that was over there. All right. And I'm switching to deconstruct at the moment. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, and I guess this is it. All right. So let's see. Oh, wow. Aluminum, iridium, and more of these guys. Okay. That's just a common one. That's a 200%. That's a good thing. All right. Deconstruct. All right. What do you got? Okay. We got a bunch of stuff here. Oh, am I going to be short? Because I can't take that apart. Did I look in there already? Yes, I did. But you know what? That's iron, and I don't want to leave it behind. Yes, I know. I am just cheap. But the thing about it is that, uh, you know, I just want everything, you know? Why not? 
All right, so let's see. But you know, I can always come back for that because the thing is that uh, I do have to come back anyway, right? And I'm going to have to decide what I'm bringing with me. All right, let's just throw everything in a container. Oh, I'm bringing aluminum. That's a no-brainer right there. All right, drop that. I'm bringing all the aluminum. I need fabric, right? Um, I can leave the water because it'll be useful for when I come back. And I already had some food over here too. Uh, I don't need the squash seeds at the moment because uh, I can't use them. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm thinking two iridium will do the job for now. I'm just going to make sure I bring all of these guys here with me. Okay, that's a 200%. I'm just going to bring the 200% with me. Uh, that one, no. That one is 200%. All right, let's see. Fabric. If I had the constructor here, I could actually do something with that immediately. 200%. Am I going to need more than that right now? Probably not. I want the chip. Um... Let's look around a little bit more. All right. I guess I could bring the iridium, right? I mean, I might as well bring the squash seeds, right? Water bottle. Leave a water bottle here. I might need it when I come back. All right. I'll take... I'll take that for now. All right. Yeah, I'll take that for now. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, and I just saw... Okay. There's another box over there. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, for the moment, we'll throw stuff in. Okay, I have four slots open. That should be enough, right? If it isn't, I'll just grab... Okay, what is that? That is aluminum. Okay, so I could get aluminum around here? Okay, I'm going to be coming back. All right, what do you got for me? Uranium. I'll take it. Okay, and that's enough that I can actually scrap this one. Okay, need more. Oh, yeah. Oh, except I can't do it. Um, all right, I'm gonna rem I'm gonna remember that. I don't have any space on me because I did that. All right, so there is some aluminum in there. I might want to go looking for that, but I do have some aluminum. So let me just. Um, oh, I took everything, didn't I? Do I have spots open? so that I can drop some stuff, because I want to drop some stuff. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah, the whole um, deconstruct thing is a little bit on the annoying side. All right, uh, let's see. All right, I'll take at least two iridium with me. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, I'll take one. I'll leave one of the food here in case I need it. What else? Oh, aluminum. I need lots of... Okay, I'll take... Boom, boom. That'll be the rest of it. The rest of it is aluminum. I need two fabric, though. All right, here's what I don't need. I don't need the squash at the moment. Because I need them for the... Um, I think I needed two for the upgraded backpack. And then I needed two for the agility boots. All right, I'm going to be coming back here anyway, right? No question whatsoever about it. Because I just left a bunch of stuff. And besides, apparently I can get... Uh, uh, Aluminum over here. And I still have to go inside and get a couple of pieces of iron. Yes, I am going to do that. All right, so let's get back to the base and then see about making some uh, rather useful items. And we are home. I'm going to need some more solar panels, ain't I? Okay, so let me just see here. All right, I can make the agility boots. I'm, oh, I need titanium and silicon for that, but I should be able to do that. All right, I'm going to make the agility boots. All right, so let's see about putting them in there. Okay, I do have another slot, but I have to replace the uh, the backpack here. Um, I can make the... Um, oh, you know what? We got technology over here. Hold on a minute. All right, so we got two chips. Microchip. Okay, mining speed, T1. Okay, so I can mine faster. How much faster? It's not really an issue at the moment, you know? All right. Microchip number two. Okay. Mining speed tier two. I guess I have to make the first one to make the second one. All right. Well, let's just take a quick look at them. All right. This one here. 10%. Magnesium, silicon, and aluminum. Okay. The second one is 20%. Super alloy? 
okay, I don't have any super alloy, so I won't be doing that one anytime soon. Yeah, is that really worth a spot, 10%? I'm not really having a speed issue in terms of the uh, aluminum. However, 15% running speed, I can get behind that. Yes, I can. I can seriously get behind that. All right, so what do I need here? Titanium and silicon. Well, I'm just going to grab some titanium. And we're going to grab some silicon. And I do need to put some stuff away here because I'm going to need space. Oh, one thing that I can do right now. Here, put that away. Uh, can I put the uranium in there? Is that a problem? I can put the food over here. Although, I think I can probably eat one of them. Yeah. All right, put that in there. And then I have another squash, I think. I'll have to bring that back. All right, I'm thinking we put the 200% in this guy right here, right? So let's just take out the common one, put in the 200%. That should do better, All right, at least theoretically speaking. But I mean, I want a lot of them too. Okay, so these guys were 200% as well. Okay, I'm thinking the first thing I want to do is a um, another solar panel, right? Uh, let's see, cobalt, iron, and I already have the silicon. So cobalt is over here, one, two. Maybe I should focus on two more. Probably not a bad idea, which means I need another silicon, and then I need two iron. All right, so there we go. I think that makes me two. I do have to make that communications array, but I think we can do that next time. Um, whatever they have to say to me isn't really important to me right now, right? Hydration problem. Okay. Glug, glug, glug. And let's make it. I can't make another one. All right, there we go. And boom. All right, so I should have a bunch of power now. I can really get rid of those turbines over there. All right, and let's take a quick look. Yes, I have an extra 15, which means I could make the communications array. It's just not a priority for me at the moment, you know? Whatever they have to say to me can wait. Okay, heat. Currently we're doing 0 0.3 because these guys actually generate some heat. But let's do the real thing here now. Oh, let me get um, one of these guys. You know, I disassembled a tier 2. I mean, shouldn't that mean that I can understand it now? I don't know. Just my thinking, right? Iron and silicon. Silicon. Iron. All right, and I guess I can put it... I mean, if I put it on a platform, could I put it outside? All right, for now, let's just throw it over here somewhere, right? Okay, heater. Because this place is nowhere near warm enough. Actually, I do believe it's freezing outside, right? Okay, so that is generating 0.3. So what do we have over here now? Heat is up to 0.6 because these guys are generating some. So I would need more. Fortunately, I do have the iridium, don't I? I actually got a bunch of it. I have to go back and get more. Is there anything else I can make that I couldn't make before? Oh, yeah, the communications array. Yeah, I would need another solar panel for that, though. That's the problem. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to spend some more time gathering, and we can throw that in next time. I might expand the base a little bit. Can I get that on the roof? Maybe I could. I could just put a stairway going up. But I think the only way I can expand at the moment is this way, because it's clipping into the ground here, and I tried one there and it wouldn't let me do it. So I guess maybe this way. So I'm gonna need the platforms, otherwise it's gonna be horrible. It is gonna be horrible. But again, this is just a temporary base. We need to get some stuff going. I mean, I can't put the heater outside, right? Uh, oh, it won't let me do it because I don't have the pieces for it. I mean, I tried to do that with the other one, but maybe it has to be on top of a platform. Oh, VegiTube T2. All right, so I'm doing some serious unlocking now. Uh, that is what this is. Oh, it's got a nice little flower in there now. I guess maybe because it's doing a better job. All right, that would be this. Okay, ice, ice, baby. And then we have iron, magnesium, and silicon. I mean, if I put that down, it's not consuming that much power. Magnesium, silicon, and ice. I have the ice already. All right, so let's just do magnesium. 
Silicon. It's a good thing I did some organization, but I'm running out here now, right? Um, iron. And then I, do I have ice over? No, I have ice over here. All right. And I'm not actually carrying water with me, which is something I need to be carrying with me. All right. Uh, can I slip it in there? All right, and let me get another one of those glorious 200%. All right, let's see oxygen production. Okay, it's a 0.3 at the moment up there. So it's a 0.3. So when we throw this in, and it's a 200%. All right, so now, okay, we're doing 2.7. So I guess those guys are 2.4 by themselves. Well, I mean, I just did put like a 200% plan in there. All right, so this is going to speed up the oxygenization. Although, I wonder if I put them on a platform, could I leave them outside? I mean, I could put them on higher ground. They don't have to be near me. And it looks like we're having fun again. Yeah, it's another meteor shower. Oh, glory. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So I'm going to go back to the ship. I'm going to gather all that stuff, including the box. I took the box out, didn't I? But there were a couple of boxes on the inside. And hey, you know what? That's iron. So I want to get that. Even though, let's face it, we're getting iron right now, aren't we? Among other things. Uh, but there, of course, there was aluminum in the area there. So I might want to look around a little bit there too. And I'll probably put some more heaters down, some more of these, because I do have the seeds, right? And, uh, yeah, lots of power. We'll save the communications array and the transmission platform for when we get back. I think I'm going to need another table. I can put it here because I can't build anymore that way. I can build that way. Maybe I want to do that, too. I mean, I can always move these things around. Anyway, I think that that is going to be it for now. So uh, we are making progress here. We're up to 11.4. Um... Yeah, I mean, we have to get to 175, but I mean, hey, it's a process. And now that I can do heat, and now that I can do better um, oxygenation, and of course I can put some more of those guys out there after I have the uh, power to handle it, things should go swimmingly. And the sky will be blue in no time. It's taking a little bit of a blue tint there, isn't it? Well, that is going to be it for now. If you want to see more of this, please give the video a like. Maybe say something in the comments. And uh, subscribing is a great way to show your support. And I got an indoor ladder. I guess I can do a second floor now. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.